Fionn, we met, what, three and a half years ago now? Yeah. When you were a young student, <laughs> um, GCSE age now. Yeah. And then since then you've gone from a police cadet with us to, to a special constable. How on earth did you get there? What, what was your journey? Once I finished my GCSEs, I then went to college in Newtime, where I was studying health and social care um, with my tutor Sarah Eskins. Um, I found that college was really useful because we did a number of things. Um, one of the topics that we covered was dementia. Um, from doing this, I became a dementia friend, which I then went on to become a dementia friend champion. Um, and I've done a number of talks and also helped raise over £300 for the Alzheimer's Society. I've also done a number of placements, um, including the hospital in Newtown and also Bethshire Nursing Home. Um, we also covered other topics such as equality, diversity and rights. Um, and that has all helped as well. And how much of your college life have you brought with you to your role as a special constable? Oh, loads. Like in college, we'd always work as part of a team, so I developed my team working skills, listening, and communication, and those have all helped. Um, just my confidence was boosted loads. We we're encouraged to always try our best, and it like it all showed that hard work pays off in the end. And um, there's a night in Manchester at the Hilton where myself, my mum, my dad, Ryan, and also Sarah came with me. Um, and I won the award for the vocational category for the whole of Wales. Have there been any key individuals that have helped or guided you along the way? Any, any, any role models that you've looked up to? Yeah, one of the main ones being definitely Sarah Eskins. Um, without her, I'd never be where I am today. Uh, she helped me through so much and if we needed anything during the course, she would always be there. I know a number of people in my course, past students as well, they, they wouldn't be where they were today without her. Mm. What tips or advice would you give anybody who, in the position that you were in 2016 as a young person finishing their GCSEs and, yeah. and looking to the future, what, what tips would you give them on, on how to start their journey? Don't be scared, it's probably one of the main ones, just if you think you could do it, just go for it. I mean, sometimes you don't always succeed, but just try, try again. Um, and I'd also say take every opportunity that comes your way, look around, look at the dip, different options and see what help and advice that you can get given to you, because it will help.